met Army Hammer on Facebook in 2016 when I was 20 years old. I fell in love with him instantly. The relationship progressed rapidly and the emotions from both sides became really intense. Looking back, it is now clear to me who was employing manipulation tactics in order to exert control over me until I started to lose myself. He would often test my devotion to him, slightly removing and crossing my boundaries as he became increasingly more violent. He abused me mentally, emotionally, and sexually. <laughs> On April 24th, 2017, Army Hammer violently raped me for over four hours in Los Angeles during which he repeatedly slapped my head against a wall, bruising my face. He also committed other acts of violence against me to which I did not consent. For example, he beat my feet with a crop so they would hurt whatever step I took for the next week. During those four hours, I tried to get away, but he wouldn't let me. I thought that he was going to kill me. He then left with no concern for my well-being. I was completely in shock, and I couldn't believe this. What I loved did that to me. I tried so hard to justify his actions, even to the point of responding to him in a way that did not reflect my true feelings. During and since this attack, I have lived in fear of him, and for a long time, I tried to dismiss his actions towards me as a twisted form of love. Now that he no longer has any power over me, I have come to understand that the immense mental hold he held over me was incredibly damaging on many levels. His abuse traumatized me to the point where for months I wasn't able to stop crying. I couldn't sleep or I'd have night terrors. I was constantly emotionally distressed and I lost interest in living. I couldn't comprehend and overcome what he had done to me. Over the years since the assault, on many occasions, the invasive flashbacks were so exc excruciating that they made me feel there was no way out but to take my own life. I just wanted the pain to stop. My hope in speaking out about the abuse I endured at the hands of Army Hammer is that he will be held accountable. I feel immense guilt for not speaking out sooner because I feel that I might have been able to save others from becoming victims. By speaking out today, I hope to prevent others from falling victim to him in the future. I want other survivors of sexual assault around the world to feel empowered and know that they are heard, believed, understood, and loved.